now the calls to shorten the NBA season continue. One NBA president has even suggested a 58-game schedule. And for the playoffs, one and done. He says there's a reason people tune into every football game. The college tournament in 63 games gets more TV money than we do in our entire regular season. The more drama, the more TV ratings, the more money. Kevin? What's not to like? Everything makes sense. Rest the players, more practice time, and all the things you just talked about. Maybe DA less is more. And thanks for the report. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. On the wings, Thompson and Wiggins. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Draymond Green. And it's Curry in at the one. And for the Rockets, the post pairing for him, Smith along with Shingun. Fred Van Vliet out there with Green. And it's Brooks in at the three spot. With the regular season just getting started, what's it like for rookies, Greg, who are beginning these new pro careers? <laughs> Let me tell you, Kevin, the speed of the pro game is startling. And things are happening so fast, it can take years for the game to slow down. So the Rockets win the tip. Outside, Green. Pass to Brooks. Beyond the arc. Kept alive by Houston. And that one is stuffed right through. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Kaminga and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Van Vliet picks one up. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. That one is off. During the last decade, the 2010s, Houston had loads of success. The fourth most wins in the league during that time. Unfortunately, they never got to the finals. Good on the second free throw for the Rockets during the 2010s Clark all winning seasons. Yeah and you know the biggest reason that Houston didn't reach the finals in my mind was the West was loaded. The Spurs were always a contender. OKC had a nice run and of course during that time the Warriors became dynastic. The Rockets have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Smith the pass to Brooks. Here's Van Vliet. Green taking his time here. Six on the shot clock. Deep two from Brooks. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Wiggins outside. Curry kicks to Wiggins. On the wing, Green. Fred Van Vliet grabs the miss. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. And it's Green missing. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And how about when Curry gets fancy with it? His confidence is what allows him to pull off these moves. Now here's Brooks. Against Indiana, he was really on his game. Pass to Green. Finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Now, here's Curry. We saw him with 19 points his last outing. Van Vliet with it. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Outside, Green launches it. Warriors with the rebound. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. 
And after that game, it was impressive to look at the box score and see the work they did at the free throw line. And not only what they did in making them, but what they did to get to the line. I mean, they were constantly in attack mode, driving the lane and drawing fouls. Here's Van Vliet following the basket by Jonathan Kaminga. Brooks with the bucket. Oh, spacing the floor. Brooks is comfortable shooting it from deep. Curry against Van Vliet. Goes up the baseline. Curry's shot is good. Curry's got five. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Brooks. Five points in the game. And the shot is good. Brooks has got his third basket of the night. And it's the Warriors with the ball. They trail by three. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Rockets team. And even though they're one of the top teams, they drop the season series to this squad. So sometimes matchups play a role. Yeah, sometimes matchups do, but I don't think they're interested in, in looking at that. They want to come back strong and show they're the better team this time. And with that lightning first step of Jalen Green, very few defenders have a chance of keeping them in front. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And great, one thing about that blinding speed of green, he's got to make his reads faster as well. I think the game is slowing down for him, though, Kevin. And that and speeding up his shot release will make him even tougher to deal with. He doesn't get the second one. Well, Jalen Green is a product of G League Ignite and clearly showing other folks there's a new path for potential lottery picks to take. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Van Vliet. He's another guy who had a stellar performance in that win against Indiana. It's Brooks on the wing. Here's the three. No good that time. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Curry from deep three-point land. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. That one goes in. Shingun's got six. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Looking at some numbers for Van Vliet, how last month turned out for him, averaging 12 points, five assists, and three rebounds. And he's very steady with that second unit, running the offense and getting them into their sets. Right. I mean, your backup point guard simply has to hold the fort, maintain the status quo, share the basketball, and minimize mistakes. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the court. They get the rebound. Kaminga, no good. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Smith, no luck. Thompson against Brooks. And Wiggins throws it down. Yeah, man, was it nice. You know where Wiggins' explosiveness comes from, though, right? His parents, a world-class sprinter and an NBA player. Now that is platinum-level DNA. Now, here's Shengu. He's got six, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And on the season, he's just a shade under 80 from the line. I'll bet he'd like to get that up over that mark. Guys, I like that this is a part of his game that has Shoot really two. been consistent this year. The free throw dropped for Shangu.
Shangoon hits them both. Warriors trailed by three. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. If you look at Houston, here in the early part of the season, they've acquired the third best record in the conference. And of course, the Warriors, a couple spots below. And you know, Houston, they are, in my eyes, one of the big surprises of the young season. I mean, no doubt the talent was there, but I just didn't think it would come together this fast. Well, you know what? I think it's a testament to how hard they worked in the preseason. I mean, they didn't want to take any chances to have this thing fall apart. They wanted to hit the ground running, and they have. Scooped up. And another shot. Shengun with the rebound. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Now, here's Curry after Jalen Green's miss. Sometimes you watch Steph get a shot up. You just appreciate what you're seeing, and perhaps the best shooter of all time. Now, here's Van Vliet. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Shengun passes to Van Vliet. Shot clock at six. Back to Shengun. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Shingun's got 10 points in the game. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Back to Curry. Fires the three. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. Curry's release is so quick. As a defender, you can't afford to give him any space. You can't lay off at all. And the officials will call the illegal That's right right there. Taking a look here at the numbers for Curry. This last month, he's been positively spectacular and tremendous confidence and consistency at the foul line. He ranks among the top 15 in free throw percentage. And you noted it. His points per game average is unreal right now. He's literally propping up the team's offense, scoring whenever they need him to. Now here's Curry. He's got 10. Thompson outside. And another three for Golden State. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. To the inside. A second chance effort. Green, no luck. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion, you'll have periods like this. And Thompson picks to Wiggins. Now the pass to Kerr. The tray. Warriors the rebound. Thompson finds Kaminga. It's good. Timeout, timeout. Now it's a five-point Warrior lead. A, a team first player. When Thompson notices one of his guys is uncovered, he is willing to get it to him. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Greg, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. But he was using that experience away for good. And Clay announcing with that his family foundation would have a 941-day initiative. Programs to help workers who have suffered career setbacks. Thompson helping others with their comeback. The Warriors making a switch here. Hall's checked in. And here is Shengun. He's got 10 from deep three-point range. Warriors with the rebound. Thompson's got six rebounds now in the game. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. And Kaminga throws it down. Oh, phenomenal alley -oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Boy, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Three pointer, Brooks. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. There's Kaminga. Makes it off the glass. Kaminga's got nine. 
You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Back to Thompson. Brooks outside. The Rockets with another miss. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Now here's Paul. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Two minutes remaining in the fourth. Two minutes. 157 left in the first. Smith, no good. Warriors leading by nine. Here's Kaminga. He's got nine. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Two. Free throw missing. And he's good on the second. Gets trailed by 10. Timeout time call time for out. Rockets. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Thompson surveying the floor. Smith up top. To stop the run, it's rebounded by Kaminga. Kaminga's got six rebounds in the game. And he's still scoreless in the quarter. They might need to go to a plan B to help him get his confidence. Now here's Paul. Last game he had 10 points. Fires from 14. And he gets the jumper to drop. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Here's Brooks. He's got seven on the wing, Thompson. Kicks to Brooks. Let's it go from deep. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Brooks has got 10 points in the game. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring him back. This is it to Kaminga. Over Smith. Kaminga, no good. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jump. And it's Smith missing. He's having a tough quarter scoring the basketball and able to help them close this gap. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Thompson against Paul. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Warriors lead by 11. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. And so it's the Golden State Warriors in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. And the three-point shot has been big for them. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, how would you grade them? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively, they put it all out there in that opening quarter. 
Warriors leading by eight. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They've got Chris Paul. Clay Thompson is out there with Kaminga. Then there's Draymond Green. Thompson right side over Thompson. It's rebounded by Kaminga. The Warriors shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. Paul left side. And in the last decade, defense is switching on screens has increased dramatically. Is this the new normal, you think? Kevin, I think so. I think teams that switch well tend to defend well. Because right? switching can create mismatches, but it's harder to punish those now with all the help defense. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line for Houston, Dylan Brooks taking two shots. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. Really depends on what a team needs from night to night. Fred Van Vliet has checked in for the Rockets. And both free throws good for Brooks. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Warriors. They've held a 12-point lead early. Pass to Thompson. Hits the three-point bomb. And the Warriors lead by nine. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Pass to Smith. Houston moving the ball around. Lock at six. Here's Van Vliet. Moves back up. And it's Smith laying it in. And smart play by Smith. Using that build to get in there and just fight for the rebound and the finish. Paul passes to Kaminga. Over Smith. Kaminga, no good. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Here's Shengu. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Warriors leading by five. Thompson outside. The pass to Paul. Passes it to Thompson. Releases. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Thompson's got eight points. You know, Paul won't miss an opening that good. He quickly feeds the ready shooter, and it's all she wrote from there. Brooks, the best to Smith. Now here's Green. Brooks outside. Off target from three-point range. The Warriors have gone two of five in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Yep, it counts. And now it's a nine-point Warrior lead. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Now we have a moment to see the best rebounding teams in the league. The Rockets fourth. You know, it's not necessarily a glamour stat, but but make no mistake, their top-notch board work has been a huge key to their success. Ball against Van Vliet. The 11-footer. The shot by Paul, no good. Rockets trailed by nine. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. The Rockets again can't hit. Golden State's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Off target with his three. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, guys. Now, Jalen Green is on a mission. 
He says, every time I step on the floor, I always have something to prove to who's ever in those stands. A lot of people will hate on me or have their opinions. I'm just going to think about that when I step on the floor. I'm going to prove everybody wrong. Kevin? That's a great chip to keep on his shoulder. David, thanks. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Landale's checked in. And it's Jay Sean Tate in for Brooks. Look at this little fella going in there and eating up some glass. And Fred Van Vliet, a player who has always shot well from outside. And Kevin Van Vliet has continued to kind of take on more of an offensive load. Increased his volume while maintaining efficiency. Not every player able to do that. And it's Green with the jam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Wiggins kicks to Curry. Off target from outside. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Green deciding where to go with it. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. Takes the three. Tate with the rebound. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. At the elbow, Green. It's stolen by Green. Three on three. Pass to Van Vliet. Wiggins against Tate. Paul with the steal. It's Curry outside. And the Warriors miss again. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing from And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. The Rockets with another miss. Warriors leading by seven. Now here's Wiggins. He had 15 points last out. Really good job of working the interior. You got to work it. You got to work it a bit. Wiggins attacking is able to draw the foul. The Warriors have made two and missed two at the line tonight. And typically a strength of their 79% on the season. And comparing to the numbers of last season, They've made a bit of improvement, so that's some positive momentum they can look to build on. Free throw good, Wiggins. A decent free throw shooter is Wiggins, trying to become more than that, though, given how often he gets himself to the line. Kevon Looney is checked in for Kaminga. And both free throws good for Wiggins. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for the Rockets. Nine-point game. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. And that's the third of four straight played at home. Golden State's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only hitting one of five attempts. And that gets him going here in the second after hitting two from long range in that first. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And Tate gets it to go. Tate's only got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Outside Curry. Back to Paul. The nine-foot shot. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Paul's got six points. So dangerous in these sets. Paul is a maestro at running the pick and roll to perfection. Curry against Green. From 16 feet away, he cans it. Green's got four points now in the quarter. Sometimes Green just makes it look so easy. Paul kicks to Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. He is looking for Looney and finds him. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Rockets trailed by nine. Van Vliet passes to Tate. Back to Van Vliet. Right 
And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up. On Monday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. Then on Wednesday, they'll be playing against James Harden and the Los Angeles Clippers. And for that game against the Timberwolves, it's going to be an all-out battle. And you just hope they are rested and able to execute their game plan as it's going to be a tremendous challenge. Looney passes to Wiggins, and the shot goes down. And that's now six points for Andrew Wiggins. Adding layers to his game over time. The more Wiggins looks to score inside, the more versatile he'll become. There's Green with the three. The Warriors pull it in. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Looney passes to Paul. Got a piece of it. And it's the Rockets on the break. Green with the ball. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down to nine in the bucket from Van Vliet. Nice to see such unselfish play from Green putting the team ahead of himself. Pass to Looney. And here's Wiggins. He kicks it to Paul. Lent it go with a three. That shot missing. So Houston will take it the other way. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Here's Van Vliet. And again, the Rockets good for two. And expect smart plays like that from Van Vliet. He is a clever floor general who knows how to create. Wiggins kicks to Kirk. The pass to Paul. Higgins outside. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists in the game. Outside, Green. Passes to Tate. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. From about 16, they get it again. Van Vliet. And an aggressive inside play there from Van Vliet. Not letting the foul deny him from getting the shot on. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Warriors. To me, it's been the ball move. That's been the key. I mean, going from good to great. Not settling for a good oh, shot. Taking that extra take pass, keeping the defense off balance, and taking great shots. And they are also just outworking the opposition in transition. When the break is on, they've continued to find ways to score. They throw good, Van Vliet. Trying their best to make a comeback. Can't fault their performance from the line, especially this quarter. That's one of the ways you trim a deficit. Both good from the line that time. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Higgins outside. Ball against Thompson. Ball outside. With the drive. And he uses the glass on the layup. Paul's got four points in the quarter. You know, for a player that's a bit undersized, he's still compactly built. Chris Paul driving the lane, knows how to angle his body, change his release point. Whatever he has to do, he'll do it in order to get his shot off. Jacks up a three. That one misses. So Golden State will take it the other way. And following this one, I'll take on the Hornets in New Orleans. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. I tell you what, it's just one of those nights where Curry finds a rhythm and just keeps on flowing. This show never gets old. Thompson passes to Landale. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Outside Curry. Green passes to Wiggins. Looney with it. Covered by Smith. 
Rooney down low. Who's against Smith? There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. Out to Thompson. Three pointer. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Here's Paul. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Paul really makes the most of the mid-range area. He's very comfortable shooting in there. That one's not going to go. And so that brings the first half to a close. Warriors ahead. They're up by 11. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and they've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing through. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He ended up with 15 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists. Big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? Well, what I like, the ball never stopped moving, nor did the players. Everyone working in unison, playing for one another. Love to watch this brand of basketball. We've got a whole other basketball. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about Houston? They didn't shoot the ball very well, and that's because they didn't have any flow on offense. I'd expect the coaching staff to make some adjustments in the locker room. They need to draw up some plays to get a good offensive rhythm. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. the second half upon us we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be really an incredible game from Stephen Curry and if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half he's going to be more than a handful yeah you know what the defense is going to adjust they'll be ready for him now so I'm sure they talked a lot about how to slow him down well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. The post pairing for him, Smith along with Shengun. Green is out there with Fred Van Vliet, and it's Brooks in at the small forward position. It's the five for Houston right now. It's trailed by 11. Teardrop shot, and it's Green missing. Wiggins dishes to Curry. Throws it up high. Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter that I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. And one of the many special things about Steph Curry, his loyalty. Sticking with this Warriors franchise since being drafted back in 09. Coming of the pass to Green, and the shot goes in. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Pass to Green. Curry against Van Vliet. Brooks from outside. That ball. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got his seventh assist here tonight. And talking about Steph, he is the face of the franchise. And his loyalty is shown. Steph's been a model citizen, never complains, never causes any issues, willing to work with young teammates. He is the ideal superstar to build around. Well, I like this execution coming out of the half. Solid. Three for four from the field so far. Van Vliet against Curry. The turnaround. Warriors with the rebound. Kaminga's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Rockets trailed by 15. 
Jengun kicks to Van Vliet. Now Green, five points in the game. Six to shoot. That's a two from Smith. Wiggins with the rebound. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Warriors leading by 15. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless the at the, the defensive Warriors. end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. The Warriors have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. One shot. Free throw good, Wiggins. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Outside, Green. From deep, Brooks. The Rockets again can't hit. The Warriors have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. Kept alive, Wiggins. Great tee that time from Green. And here's Brooks, he'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. They trail by 18. Here's the teardrop, and it's good for two. Smith's got his second basket of the night. Oh, love the determination Smith showed there, refusing to let the contact alter his shot. Van Vliet against Curry, and the wide open shot from Green. And again, it's the Warriors missing. On the wing, Green. He lobs up the alley oop pass, and stolen by Wiggins. To the middle. Kaminga dishes to Curry. Thompson outside. From deep. That one no good. Gets trailed by 16. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And it goes on Draymond Green. And one of these modern wings who doesn't just shoot threes. Brooks is a tough guy to cover. The Rockets have been good at the free throw line in this one. Seven of eight. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. Warriors leading by 15. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. And the call will be against Jabari Smith. That's foul number two for him. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Here's Curry. And look at how focused Van Bleed is on D, not allowing the shooter any space. Shang Yoon finds Van Bleed. Brooks outside. Shoots the three. And there's Van Vliet on the assist by Brooks. Van Vliet's got nine. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Here's Kaminga. 
And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Guys, I'll tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. You know, his free throw percentage has dropped this year, but not really enough to raise any I'm red playing. flags or to become I'm alarmed playing. about it. On the free throw, no good. And Jabari Smith, of course, with deep family ties, Greg, to the NBA. His dad being the OG Jabari. All these guys are in that 6'10, 6'11 range. So great bloodline. Wiggins passes to Kerr. Golden State moving the ball around. Thompson in the corner. Five to shoot. Green finds Curry. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Van Vliet looking around. And Green slams it in. And you can always count on Van Vliet to make the right play. He doesn't make too many bad decisions when he's got the ball in his hands. Van Vliet against Curry. Here's Thompson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Jalen Green. A legendary shooter. Thompson is also a versatile defender who plays with great energy on both sides of the ball. Shooting two. That free throw good from Thompson. And so Thompson nails both of them. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for Houston. It's a 14-point game. Brooks finds Smith. Here's Green. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the toughness of Brooks on display. Not fearing contact when he's looking to score inside. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And their passing has been great as well. Ball movement is key in getting good looks, and they've had that down tonight. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Brooks. Warriors leading by 12. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Shoots over Van Vliet. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Curry's got eight points here in this quarter. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on took the opportunity when he saw it. Green's got 13. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. It's trailed by 11. Here's Brooks. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Pass to Thompson. 
Kaminga kicks to Thompson. Guarded by Green. Shot clock at six. Fires top of the key. Again, Golden State. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Going inside. He can't get that one to fall. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Back to Curry. Outside, Green. Over, Shangu. And it's Green missing. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. The drive by Green. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You know, when Green goes inside like that with that type of force and tenacity, really gives the defense no option but to foul him. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. Taking two shots. Two shots. first one falls and in this era of player movement Greg we're seeing guys often pick teams on fit or style of play when they look at that what are they looking into you want to have fun coming to work every day Kevin I mean the money they're making most guys are going to be set for life but I think they recognize it's about the journey and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with oh free throws good from green Warriors leading by 11 Thompson outside. All against Thompson. On the wing, Green. And it's off from three-point range. The Rockets have gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. He's covered by Thompson. They get it back. Smith kicks to Thompson. Robbed up there for Thompson. And he trims the lead of single digits. Oh, Kevin, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley-oop textbook, boys. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. And a nice touch on the finish. Here's Paul. Count it from 12. Paul's got 12. And now you can see the D having problems stopping the mid-range jumper. Just not really closing out as much as they need to. Here's Shengu. The Warriors pull it in. They led by as many as 18 points. Green with the rebound. Green's got five rebounds tonight. There's the pass to Thompson. Down low. Now, here's Shengu. Defended by Paul. They just aren't attacking from the perimeter like they did in that first half, and I think that's part of the problem right now. Thompson inside the line. Good, and Paul gets the assist. 12 points for him. And I like how Paul constantly looks to set up his guys, knows how to orchestrate the offense with his pass. And Thompson kicks to Green. Back to Thompson. We've got 148 left to play in the third. Passes it to Green. The three. That shot, no good. So Golden State will take it the other way. On the wing, Thompson. Ball outside. Six on the shot clock. And the basket is good. And the Warriors lead by 13. Wow, 10 straight points from mid-range. You know what I've always said, partner? Good shooting covers over a multitude of eels. We're seeing it right now. Thompson outside. Pass to Green. Launches a three. Buries it from three-point range. Green's got 13 points in just this quarter. 
Hey, this team has great confidence in Green's ability to connect from deep. It's really about getting him quality looks. Puts it up from 17. It's rebounded by Houston. Green's got six rebounds now in the game. Misses from close range. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. And we'll see if that's the answer. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. And it's Thompson with the jam. That should give them a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. And, you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big-time finish there. Paul with the ball. Off with the layup. Love the spin move right there, but he couldn't quite gather himself for the shot. He may have spun himself dizzy out of the spin move. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He's been a major threat from three-point range. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. On the court for Golden State here in the fourth. In it forward, it's going to be Thompson and Wiggins. Chris Paul is out there with Stephen Curry. And it's Green in at the five down low. On the wing, Thompson. Over Brooks. And it's Thompson that time. On the assist by Wiggins. Wiggins has got his third assist on the night. Brooks outside. Pass to Shengu. Here's Green. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Green's got 20. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. Thompson outside. Back to Paul. Wiggins outside. Fires the three. Shengu with the rebound. Shingun's got 11 rebounds in the game. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and really a tough break for the D. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Back to Van Vliet. Over Paul. Pocket six. You know, people sometimes forget what a pesky and physical defender Chris Paul is for a guy who's not that big. He influences a lot of shots out there. Kicks it to Thompson. Back to Paul. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. And the Warriors lead by 10. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10, right at him, get to the rack. He's really picked up where he left off in the first. And it's Paul with the ball for Golden State. They led by as many as 18 points. Back to Thompson. Second chance shot. That shot off the mark. Nice D from Brooks. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. Van Vliet outside. And here we go. Fast break. Paul's got it. Rejected by Van Vliet. And perfect positioning from Van Vliet. Wanting to block shots whenever he can. Great instance. Two free throws Golden coming State up, and they foul. call the shooting foul. Draymond Green. And it goes on Fourth Draymond Green. Foul. Second team foul. At the line for Houston, Chamberlain Green. 
two shots. Free throw drops for Green. The Warriors making a switch here. Kaminga's checked in. Both free throws good from Green. Warriors leading by five. Curry kicks to Wiggins. And there's the pass to Kaminga. Green against Thompson. Back to Kaminga. Pulls it up. That's tipped. Over in the corner, Green. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. An underrated part of Green's game is the ability to see the floor and make his teammates better. Passes it to Kaminga. With the fadeaway. It's rebounded by Houston. Shingun's got rebound number 13 with that last one. And Brooks, here we go. Lays it up off the glass. Now just a one-point Warrior lead. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Back to Curry. To end the drought. Drills it from outside. Curry. Curry's got 26 Three. points. Three triples in the first half. Three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Brooks, left side. Green inside the three-point line. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green dishes to Curry. Wiggins outside. Out to Thompson. Stolen by Van Vliet. There's the drive. Plays it up and banks it in. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Timeout called the Warriors. Check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break, and he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys. Thank you, David. Kaminga finds Wiggins. Shot clock at six. That shot, no good. Rockets have gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Green with the rebound. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. The dish to Thompson. Outside Curry. Elbow shot is on the way. And they pick up two. Curry's got 28 points for the game. And Curry calling for the pick and roll and running it with precision. He, he is a terrific floor general. He knows how to strike the soft spot of an opposing defense. Shengun passes to Van Vliet. Stolen by Van Vliet. Here's Shengun. Brooks outside. Pass to Van Vliet. Lobs it up there for Brooks. Green with the block. Green takes great pride in his defense now. He loves the nine shots at the rim and playing bigger than his 6'8 frame would lead you to believe. Guarded by Kirk. To the paint. Here's Van Vliet. And the layup fall. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Curry passes to Wiggins. And again, no good by Golden State. Rockets have gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. He nails it. And we're tied up. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Thompson outside. 
Wiggins surveying the floor. Great look, but off the mark. Total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. Brooks misses. Golden State's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And you can't afford to bail out a dynamic shooter. Right, Thompson? He'll make you pay at the line. At the line for the Warriors. Play Thompson. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Smith checked in for the Rockets. Thompson comes in for Fred Van Vliet. And so Thompson nails both of them. And right now, at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. Now a timeout called by Houston. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. He's on another level right now. Knocking down threes left and right. The defense isn't doing their job, and I think they've got to talk about it quickly. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game. Stephen Curry. Well, he has absolutely been ferocious in this one. Right from the opening tip. I mean, he's made his presence felt. It's been impressive watching him outwork and out hustle everybody during this game. Rockets have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Thompson against Curry. Thompson outside. Wiggins with the rebound. And it's Wiggins with the ball for the Golden State Warriors. Pass to Thompson. Golden State moving the ball around. Now the pass to Wiggins. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. And that'll be his third foul so far. The Rockets trail. And here's Thompson. Passes it to Smith. Brooks for three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Wiggins against Brooks. Wiggins dishes to Kaminga. Brooks the pass to Smith. Shoots over Curry. And it's Smith that time on the assist by Brooks. Smith's got the game tied up here for the Rockets. And that's a nice shot from mid-range there. Smith must continue to knock it down at that level. Here's Curry. From 16 feet away, he can it. Curry's got 30 points. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X-Factor. Lays it in off a pretty alley-oop. And this is a statement bucket. If you weren't excited about Smith already, how about now? Thompson inside the line. Thompson with the rebound. Houston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. The Warriors shooting in the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. And Kaminga throws it down. How about the decision-making of Curry? Not just a go-to scorer, also a skilled orchestrator who picks the defense apart with his passing. Now a timeout called by Houston. Who wants the
Curry against Thompson. Outside, Green. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fifth assist in this one. Well, he's found his shot again. Did nothing from range in the first half. But this third quarter, all his. Fader on the way. Kaminga. It's good on the putback. And the Warriors lead by one. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Outside, Green. Back to Thompson. Two minutes remaining in the game. Pass to Shengun. Four on the shot clock. Trying to get open is Brooks. Shengun with the bucket. Really good work on the interior. That is a critical two points there. That was an ideal scenario really for him. Point one range and also a size advantage. Here's Curry. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Almost automatic shooting free throws. Steph Curry, no one I'd rather have in this spot. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Rockets. You love how they've lived in the paint, making the defense just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. How great have they been? I mean, shooting the ball from outside the arc, they have absolutely been lights out. It's the first that ties the game up. Arguably the most impactful player in modern NBA history, Stephen Curry has changed how the game is played, really making this more of a three-point shooting league. And so it was good on both free throws. And that gives them the lead. Guys, that was critical. I mean, that's what we're used to seeing out of him, though, at moments like this. Here's Green. Good D by Thompson. Golden State's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. And Kaminga gets it to go. 124 left in the fourth. Outside, Green. Trying to find Thompson. He gets it to him. That one goes. Count it. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Curry kicks to Thompson. Over Smith. Thompson misses. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Green. A putback. And there's Thompson putting it right back in. And the Rockets lead by one. Uh oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. That's exactly right. No need to catch it when you've got the kind of soft hands that he does. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're behind by one. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 42 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Green, no luck. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Kaminga finds Curry. Higgins outside over Brooks. Go! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Timeout called the Rockets. They're down by one. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What do you think, guys? Yeah, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And we call those ATOs. Four plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in the game. Outside, Green. Pass to Thompson. It falls! Timeout, timeout. Coming off a big 
big game. His confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take it. Timeout called the Warriors. They're trailing by one. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? This is what it comes down to. This shot could win the game. Not much time left, but they have just enough to execute a play. Here's Wiggins. Oh, all zeros on the clock as he drains the game winner. He knew it was good when it left his hand. He started celebrating as soon as it got off his fingertip. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors pulling out the W. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. You look at each of these teams' rosters, lots of guys who have spent tons of time in the league, Brett. And these guys know each other so well, B.A., whether it's this team or playing on other teams. They've seen these faces. They recognize the moves. Uh, we'll see tonight who can outthink the other. Let's take a look at our starters for the Golden State Warriors. Thompson, the two, with Wiggins at the three. Jonathan Kaminga is out there with Green. And it's Curry in at the point. Just five on the clock. Four, three... Van Vliet misses. Now the Warriors with it. They're getting their first look of the season at the Rockets in this one. And while they were regarded as the better team, they actually lost the season series last year. Of course, matchups play a big part in that. Now here's Thompson. Pass to Wiggins from outside the arc. No good there. Now Brooks. A foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. I mean, during his first playoffs, Dylan Brooks proved he was a big game player, pulling in 31 in his playoff debut, an upset win over Utah. Shooting two. Free throw dropped for Brooks. You know, talking about Dylan Brooks, also great in those first ever play-in games, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the Grizzlies making the playoffs, winning two games. Brooks was outstanding in a win at Golden State, locking down the Warriors on the perimeter. And Brooks drops them both. About a minute into this first quarter, Pass to Green. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. The vision Curry has on the floor. We've seen him put those goggles up from time to time. He easily spots a ready shooter that time. Outside, Green. Now Shangun from deep. Nails it from beyond the arc. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Outside Curry. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Yeah, anything the opponent does, trust me, Steph can do it better. He's got to be the best shooter that we've ever seen in the game. Now here's Brooks. Coming in off 21 points in his last outing. Green against Changun. Pass to Green. Shot clock at five. Over Thompson. And it's Green missing. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Wiggins, no good. Houston has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Oh, there's the alley! And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Brooks. Now that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. The Warriors have gone just two for four from the floor. Thompson outside. Curry against Van Vliet. It's Thompson, high post. 
We saw him with 19 his last time out. Knocks it down from distance. Three points. And Wiggins is shooting it with confidence. Man, he's a threat to put up some big numbers. Van Vliet finds Brooks. Here's Shangoon. It's rebounded by Golden State. Just one for five. Not the start they were looking for. Obviously, there's still plenty of time to get on track. You got Draymond rising up into the contact. He's a good offensive player who finds his way this time to get to the free throw line. And watching Draymond Green play, Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch, keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer, sees guys get open before they do. off on the first 2022 what a year for Golden State another NBA title unbelievable from the worst record in the league climbing back on top getting their big three healthy man as long as you have a healthy Steph Curry I think you're going to have a chance to get there what a run they were on and the second free throw is good and to the surprise of some league observers, a number of rookies are already making huge contributions, Grant. And it's so much fun to see these young players stepping up, getting thrown right into the fire, and for good reason. When you have two or three stars eating up your salary cap, you need the guys on rookie contracts to perform, and they are. And it's the Warriors with the ball. The Rockets getting their last shot to go. Wiggins against Brooks. Out to Thompson. Pulls it from 20. And the shot goes down. And Wiggins is a capable passer. Someone that wants to hit a guy in the right spot. Van Vliet. The pass to Brooks. Back to Van Vliet. The ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Wiggins. Up top, Curry, defended by Shangun. Out to Thompson. Releases. It doesn't go for him. And Houston will come the other way. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. What about their offense? It was a well-oiled machine. Getting them high-quality looks time and time again. Yeah, in talking with the coaching staff, they said in that game, they did a great job of not settling. Keep working the ball around, finding the best look. Let's see if they can keep that up. And the shot's good by Wiggins. Well, if Wiggins hits these three-point balls at a high clip, he'll become a much better player and more dangerous for this offense. Green, the pass to Smith. Off the mark there with a three. And the Warriors with possession. They're on a 12-4 run. Pass to Curry. Back to Wiggins. Six to shoot. Thompson against Green. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Missed the ball. The Rockets trail. Van Vliet on Shangun. Brooks outside. Pass to Green. The three. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do. And right at the top is guard that guy. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. It's tipped. And it's stolen by Van Vliet. The shot is good. And this game is back to even. Van Vliet's got his second basket of the night. Oh, that's great basketball. Denying them on one end while grabbing points on the other. Curry passes to Green. Shangun against Curry. Golden State with a rebound. And it's hammered home by Green. There's no way Draymond wasn't getting that ball as it came off the rim. Raymond, a premier example of why the NBA tracks things like those hustle stats we see. Now here's Green. 
A 17-point game for him in the win against Indiana. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Golden State has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Thompson passes to Kaminga. Outside Curry. Back to Green. Wiggins outside. Five to shoot. Shot from the top of the key. And it falls all over the rim and in. And now it's a four-point Warrior lead. Wiggins playing with the ruler as he measured that one up. Pass to Smith. Brooks against Wiggins. From eight feet away. And Brooks finishes it off. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Up top, Smith. He's watched by Kuminga. Shangun against Green. Here's Van Vliet. That one no good. Oh, nice D from Curry. The Warriors have gotten 7 of 13 shots to drop. Oh, had a nice open look right there. Thompson's got five. Yeah, raise your hand if you're surprised that Clay Thompson timeout, racked timeout. up three more points. Houston. Houston calls timeout. And guys, what I like about the Rockets, they have stockpiled talent. I know they're young, but they focused on getting as many pieces as they can. So it's both teams making substitutions here. All right, let's look back over the last 10 games now. See which teams were topping the charts in three-point shooting. The Warriors, fourth. Incredible accuracy from deep over the past couple games. Great floor spacing. And, of course, their shooters have all the confidence in the world right now. Now here's Thompson. Really played well against Indiana in his last game. And that one, good. So what do you think the most important thing for young teams like the Rockets? Well, B.A., it comes down to playing time. I mean, Houston has done a great job of playing their kids. But let me tell you guys, nothing substitutes for game time in the NBA. Learning by playing. That's what it's all about. Man, good whistle there. First personal foul. Second team foul. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. And he drops the first. One thing this Rockets team does very well, they get themselves to the line. That they do. And they make it hurt once they do. Effectively drawing fouls and making your free throws is something some teams struggle with. But this Houston squad has it down. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Houston has gone two of five from deep. Back to Thompson. Outside, green. No good on the triple. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. Oh, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. Thompson's got seven. Man, he's bringing the energy, the efficiency. I love what he's doing offensively. Stolen by Wiggins. Out on his own on the break. The pull-up. Here's Green. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. You're not going to throw Draymond Green off his game. That's his job to do it to you. Staying focused there. He gets the contact and makes it. Now here's Shingun. Making a mark on the offensive end. Scoring around 13 a game. 
And they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Green against Thompson. Wiggins from long range. It's rebounded by Houston. Pounded by Wiggins. Shoots a fadeaway. Here's Shangun. Green with the defensive effort. A rare miss for him at point-blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. The kick out to Paul. Pass to Thompson. Here's Green. Down to five on the shot clock. Paul for three. And the three-pointer goes. And the Warriors lead by ten. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Back to Thompson. Smith outside. Shoots over Kaminga. The rebound by Wiggins. Now the Warriors with it. They're on a 16-6 run. Launches a three. It's rebounded by Shangun. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Now here's Kaminga. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. Pass to Smith. And here is Thompson. Uses the glass on the layup. And you can see Smith has the vision. Now, it'll be interesting to watch that part of his game continue to develop. It's Thompson, high post. Stripped it away. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Wiggins passes to Green. Thompson against Green. Back to Green. Let's go with a three. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got four rebounds now. Got it. Good job in the low post. And now it's just a four-point Warrior lead. Well, Smith just has to learn to deal with this. Pro defenses won't be shy about putting contact on you. Here's Paul. Thompson with the block. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Warriors ahead, leading by four. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. again for tuning in if you're just joining us we played through one quarter of action so far and what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one well it's simple I mean they started off strong and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go they just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside the defense pretty lost Smith plays the four with Shen Goon at center Fred Van Vliet out there with Jalen Green. And it's Brooks in at the three spot. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his first foul. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Thompson against Brooks. With the drive. Shangun in the post. Green for three. He can't get it to go. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. Yeah, it was relentless play at both ends of the court in that game. They were able to seize control and maintain it. Yeah, and going back and watching that game, there was not one spot on the floor that they did not own. Here's Van Vliet. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Three-pointer, Brooks. They get the rebound. 
Here's Shangun. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, as you know, Grant, this game can be so hard on your body. As a player, how do you determine the difference between being hurt versus being injured? That's a great question, B.A. Look, sometimes as players, you need someone to protect them from themselves. Today's game, the teams today are so smart about protecting players and preventing things from getting worse. But it really comes down to the players, the doctors, the team overall, just being smart and having a big picture about the injuries. And he misses the second one as well. So 0 for 2 that time. Pass to Curry. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Houston. They host the Hawks after this one. And that's the third game out of four at home for them. Here's Brooks. Back to Green. From outside the arc. Connects from downtown. Green's got eight. That's pretty much not how they would defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Outside Curry. Good work defensively by Brooks. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now here's Curry. He had 19 points in the win against New York. Thompson, no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And a Shangun penetrating. Shoots over Paul. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Uh, what do you say about CP3 other than this guy is an all-timer? You think about guys down the stretch who you have run your offense, CP3 has to be mentioned up there. First free throw is good. As for CP, seems irreplaceable with each team he's been on. Well, he does so much for a team in terms of just keeping accountability from the coach's voice to his. Not only does he perform at the highest level on the floor, there's a lot of things that CP3 brings off the floor that really help teach guys what being a pro is all about. Houston has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Pass to Van Vliet. Over Curry. That one rolls around and rims out. The Warriors leading. Back to Paul. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Knocks down the 18-footer. Paul's got five points now this quarter. That's why Chris Paul is so special is because he can just navigate around pick and rolls, find open areas, and... There's just no defense for that. The Rockets again can't hit. The Warriors have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Curry, count that bucket. Good focus there from Steph Curry, muscling past the defense. Yeah, I said it, muscling to get the contact. Shooting for Golden State. Stephen Curry at the line for one. one falls for Curry. Yeah, so easy to root for Stephen Curry because of how much fun he seems to have on the floor. Embraces the competition but is able to laugh it off when something doesn't go his way. A lot of things do, though. Now, here's Green. He's got 10. Brooks outside. Shoots. 
And that comes off the assist by Green. Green's got three assists in the game. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And there it is for him. Green's got nine points. Well, you're always looking to see if somebody has a better shot, even if your name's Clay Thompson. Nice dish. Pass to Brooks from the arc. Kept alive by Houston. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Hey, look at how the game is played today. Teams are looking for length, versatility, and, of course, shooting. And Smith Jr. has all of that and more. Landale's checked in for Shangun. And that one misses. Well, you mentioned the shooting, Grant. Smith Jr. hitting 42% from beyond the arc last season. B.A., I mean, among his many skills, that one probably stands out the most. But I also love his potential at the other end. He really has those tools to be a lockdown defender, one through five. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. Thompson with the block. Clay showing some signs that time of that primetime defense he can bring. And you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sends shockwaves into the opposition sails. Smith against Green. On the wing, Brooks. He's got six. Just cannot get anything to go. If there's going to be a way to get out of this hole, I don't think he'll be the one to do it. Pass to Paul. Now Curry. Five on the clock. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Curry's got five points in the quarter. That's a go-to shot for Stephen Curry, ready to shoot as soon as that ball touched his fingertips. Van Vliet on the wing. He's guarded by Paul. And the basket by Van Vliet. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. Outside Curry. And stolen by Green. Paul against Van Vliet. Outside for Green. On the take. That shot is off. Curry with some nice D. The Warriors have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Green covering. Outside Paul. Pass to Thompson. Just five to shoot. Releases. Curry, no good. The Rockets trail. Outside, Green. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Here's Paul. Give him eight points now. Thompson outside. Launches a three. He drops it from range. Thompson's got ten points in the game. Chris Paul came into the league playing unselfish. Continues to do so. What a dime. Pass to Green. Fires the three. And he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. A strong start, and if anything, he's gotten better in the second quarter. Outside Curry. 
The three from Thompson, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got three assists tonight. That's his second triple this quarter after hitting one earlier. This is how you space the floor. Now here's Green. 13 points in the game. A nice shot by Smith. And he likes to be the answer guy. Smith with a huge response three. Left side, Green. On the wing, Thompson. Thompson with another miss. Houston has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. That's tipped. And the Warriors pushing it up now. The three from Curry. It's rebounded by Houston. Smith's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. His shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Now here's Green. Hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. Clock at four. And that one's good for Brooks. I'm not sure who is supposed to be guarding him. Ridiculous laps there defensively. Thompson outside. Green in the post. He's against Smith. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Thompson, he's checked in for the Rockets. The Warriors also with a sub. Kuminga's checked in. Paul's got space. And again, no good by Golden State. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you, for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Well, that was clearly a foul. Third team foul. The line for Houston. Shot Shoot two. Down. Two shots. And he makes a first. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. The Warriors have gotten seven of 16 shots to go in the second. The three from Curry, and count it. Now four for nine. And nobody is pulling up from that kind of depth except for Stephen Curry. Timeout, timeout. timeout called. Houston. Houston. Here's the break. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And Chris Paul, when he gets into those tight spots, he becomes pretty smart in there. Chris Paul taking two shots. First free throw is good. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Now, there's been a lot of stops in CP3's career, but there's been no doubt that when he's on the team, he is the vocal and emotional leader of their production. Smith, great positioning on the putback. Smith's got seven points here in the quarter. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Thompson outside. Kaminga up top. Up and over Smith. And there's Kaminga. That one's good on the assist by Thompson. And the Warriors lead by six. 
Thompson against Paul. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First personal foul. Clay Thompson picks one up. Team foul. At the line for Houston. Thompson taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw is good from Thompson. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Both free throws good from Thompson. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Pass to Curry. Back to Paul. Now here's Curry from deep. It's hauled in by Landale. Brooks against Thompson. Oh, it's blocked by Green. And Green plays with tremendous edge on the defensive end of the floor. Now here's Curry, guarded by Van Vliet. Curry passes to Paul. The teardrop, and he lays it in. Paul's got nine points now in the quarter. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Pass to Brooks. Here's Van Vliet. Count it. He's four for eight now. The Warriors leading. Thompson outside. And here's Curry for three. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fifth assist in this one. Paul against Thompson. 52 seconds left in the first half. Landale misses. Down low. And it's stolen by Van Vliet. Fast break. Here come the Rockets. And the jumper from the wing offline. Golden State has gone 50% from the perimeter in this second. Shooting four of eight. Curry. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Here's Thompson. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Paul passes to Kaminga. Thompson pulls it in. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Van Vliet again. Houston. <laughs> Stephen Curry getting it done for the Warriors. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hi, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Golden State had no problems getting going. They put together some nice offensive stretches and at one point led by as many as 10. They gave a little of their initial cushion back, but still ended the first quarter with a seven-point lead. And into the second quarter, momentum started to shift slightly as they gave up some of that lead, ending the half up three. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, they were lighting it up from three, and that was the difference in the first half. They did a good job of running off screen, spotting up, and getting rid of the ball quicker. And their shot selection, solid. Shaq, how'd you think the Rockets were playing? I like how they're working the ball on that low and finding easy looks. Uh, they may be tempted to switch things up in the second half, but I say stick with it. Force the other team to adjust to the way you play. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Whoa! 
And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And so in the game for the Warriors, Curry and Thompson pair up at the one and the two. Jonathan Kaminga is out there with Andrew Wiggins. And it's Green in at the five, down low, to the middle, tipped. Green with the ball. Van Vliet outside. Back to Green. Let's it go. And he can't get that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. When this game is done, they'll be off to New Orleans. They take on the Pelicans. That'll be the second of two games on the road. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Brooks. Jacks up a three. Warriors with the rebound. Now Curry. And there's the call on Jalen Green. That's his third foul so far. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Second half rolling along, about a minute played here. Defensively, you always want to keep vision on the ball. Nice job tracking and coming away with it. And another miss by Houston. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Wiggins. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. Now he's got so much vertical ability. That's easy for Wiggins. Outside, Green. Pass to Brooks. 4-3. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got five assists tonight. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. Up high and down it goes on the lob. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, PA. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Green for three. The rebound by Wiggins. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Here's Shangun. Off the left rim and out. The Warriors have gone three of three in the second half. Puts it up from 15. Offensive board. Wiggins, no good. The Rockets have gone only one for six here in the second half. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. Boy, you look at Jalen Green. All the tools to be a star. It may take some time. Now, growing up, he was always the most talented. But he is a gym rat and a worker, a grinder. So I bet on him to reach his full potential soon. Throw good. Green. And both free throws good for Green. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. Outside Kaminga. It's Wiggins on the wing. Pass to Thompson. Clock at six. Money from the wing. Thompson's got four points in the quarter. And we're well aware of how dangerous Clay Thompson can be. You remember that 37 point outburst in one quarter. Green finds Van Vliet. 16 feet out. Yes, on the jumper. Van Vliet's got 12 points in the game. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Kuminga, the pass to Thompson. Misses the three. 
Houston has gone one of four here in the third from range. Pass to Van Vliet. Back to Smith. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. And now it's just a two-point Warrior lead. This is Smith's game. Set him up, and he'll knock him down. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And when you look at Van Vliet on the floor, you would think he gets targeted on defense. But for a player his size, he more than holds his own. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock, Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. Left side, Green. The three from Curry. He buries it from three. He's got 17. And Van Vliet, a very solid defender at his position, Greg. Not great length, but strong as any, B.A. I mean, he has great hands to bother the ball handler and great defensive IQ that makes the most of his athleticism. The Warriors have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Thompson outside. On the wing, Green. Outside Curry. Pass to Thompson. Shot clock at six. Green against Changun. The fadeaway. It's not going to go for him. And Houston will come the other way. Here's Green. Excellent D there from Wiggins. The Warriors leading. To the inside, Kuminga. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Well, you love how eager Wiggins is to involve his teammates. That's a nice assist. He shoots. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Green's got four points now in the quarter. The Warriors have gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Pass to Kuminga. Wiggins outside. Up and over Brooks. Wiggins, no good. Houston has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Van Vliet against Curry. Van Vliet outside. To the paint. Green, the pass to Van Vliet. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got six assists now in the game. Thompson outside. Over Green. Thompson. That's good. Thompson's got 19 points. Houston has gone two for five from three since halftime. Van Vliet, the pass to Brooks. Back to Van Vliet. Smith outside. On the wing, Brooks. And he lobs it up to the rim. Out of bounds, it'll be Warriors ball. I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turnover. So both teams changing it up here. The Warriors have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Houston on D. Two-point game. Kaminga up top. Give him eight points now. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that fast. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Warriors. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. Well, the three-point shot has been absolutely huge for them this entire game. And, and let's be honest, you have to knock down threes to win games Shoot these two. days. First free throw is good. And Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans. 
But they resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. Both good from the line that time. Hey, I got to admit, I like how the Rockets are approaching their rebuild. This summer, drafting Jabari Smith and Tari Eason, two versatile forwards to go with the other young talents. It feels like the picture is starting to come into focus in Houston. Van Vliet, the pass to Green. Five to shoot. It's tipped! Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. The steal! And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Third personal. <laughs> so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three point opportunity. At the line for Houston, Chandler Green. Two shots. down the first one. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. And both free throws good for Green. It felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half. But really, he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free-throw line. Back to Paul. Outside Kaminga. Green covering. Uneasy, two on the layup. And the Warriors lead by four. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Pass to Shangun. Yep, that one's good. Shangun's got seven points. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. Wiggins finds Paul. Green covering. And here is Kaminga. Six on the shot clock. Up and over Smith. And there's another one for the Warriors. Well, you got to get up tighter than that. Some players you, you can give that much room to, but not him. And stolen by Paul. And they're running. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And the Rockets making a change here. Thompson's checked in. Number two, one shot. Free throw, no good. The Rockets trail. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. And they just keep making mistakes. I mean, that's back-to-back -back turnovers, which easily could have been prevented. Golden State has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Floats one up. Here's Wiggins. Rockets with a rebound. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Thompson passes to Smith. Just five on the clock. And he lobs it up. And it's hammered home by Green. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. 
Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, why well, he settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? And the shot's good by Wiggins. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Here's Green. 21 points in the game. Offensive rebound. And Shingun gets it to go. Shingun's got nine. Making the most of that possession. Unwilling time to out, give up out. on the play. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. making a switch here. Looney finds Wiggins. Here's Paul, defended by Thompson. Let's it go from the wing. Rockets with a rebound. Green's got four rebounds now. Two minutes. Looney grabs a miss. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Outside, Green. There's a minute 34 left in the third quarter of the game. Fires the three, buries it from three. Green's got 11 points in the quarter. Is it possible his sweet touch is getting sweeter, guys? Pass to Wiggins. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Houston has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Now here's Green. 24 points for him. One minute left in the third quarter. Pass to Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Get up there, young fella. Sometimes as a point guard, you got to take it yourself. Well, it's okay to be selfish when you can flush it like that. Well, if he's calling his own number, there's a reason for it. There you respect the decision-making from him out there. Paul shot is off. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. This for the tie! And he takes it up and lays it in. And that makes it a tie ball game. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. We've got 22 seconds left in the third. From the line. Ooh, Thompson with the block. He's guarded by Paul. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul him. Team foul. At the line for Houston. And that one misses. He gets it off. And it's in. Oh, nails the buzzer beater. Are you kidding? Great job ending the quarter on a high note. Great way to end the quarter there. Team is pumped up. Steve Kerr with some words for his players. Get the first domino to fall, and then it's boom, boom, boom. The extra pass. 
We're not running plays to get a shot. We're running plays to get the domino to fall. So move the ball, drive and kick, we'll get great shots. Right? Coach Kerr preaching team chemistry right now. Yeah, he wants more ball movement and much better execution because that makes everything simple. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. We've got Jay Sean Tate, Alperon Shangoon out there with Fred Van Vliet, and it's Thompson in at the point guard position. That's the five for Houston right now. That three's off the mark. And the Rockets shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Shangoon passes to Thompson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one belongs to Wiggins. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. At the line for Houston. Thompson taking two shots. Two shots. Last from the first. And he drops the first. And the Warriors making a change here. Kuminga's checked in. Both free throws good from Thompson. The Warriors trailing. Wiggins outside. Van Vliet against Thompson. Wiggins from long range. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got six assists now in the game. And it's Houston's ball. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Tate. Count it. Got his first two points of the night. And just great intensity down the stretch. I mean, he really wants to rock with the game on the line. I'll take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. Wiggins has space. Again, the Warriors score. The Wiggins with a good use that time of the mid-range shot. Outside Tate. Pass to Van Vliet. And the Rockets tack on two more. Neither team able to build a lead and sustain it. After six lead changes, it feels like it could come down to one big play. Outside Kaminga. Wiggins with it. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Wiggins right now just using force, challenging the defense, and sometimes making them get very physical with his play. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Rockets. Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers, and then scoring on the other end. Man, scoring off of turnovers is, is so helpful. I mean, you get easy opportunities at the rim. It devastates the opponent. They've done a great job tonight at converting on those chances. The free throw drops for Wiggins. And Andrew Wiggins came into this league as such a special talent. It's so great to see all of that blossoming this far into his career. Brooks, he's checked in for the Rockets. And he can't hit the second. He was able to tie it up. But he has to be disappointed that he could not give his team the lead. And that one's good, Thompson. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Here's Kuminga. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. And the Rockets call time here. 
And as we head down the stretch, these players are focused on absorbing their coach's game plan and also drinking some Gatorade so their bodies will be well hydrated for the minutes ahead. Smith, he's checked in for Tate. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hi, guys. Over the break, I was able to catch the message Houston's coach was giving to his team. He told them this is a game that we can win. It's a game we should win. We've matched those guys step for step. From this point forward, let's try to force them to play at our tempo. And Allie, thanks. Pass to Wiggins. Takes a three. Smith with the rebound. Smith, for Houston, they've gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Wiggins against Brooks. Right side Green. Pass to Curry. The three ball. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got his third assist of the night. Brooks with it. Now here's Smith. Van Vliet outside. Six to shoot. The shot that time not on target. Oh, nice D from Curry. To the middle. Here's Green. And it's hammered home by Green. That gives him a double-double in this one. If he can get his steps together, Draymond Green will throw it down. Thompson passes to Shingun. Brooks from outside. Knocks down the long J. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. The Warriors have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Up top, Wiggins. Covered by Smith. Thompson against Van Vliet. Pass to Curry. Clock at six. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. And the Rockets shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Here's Van Vliet. Softly drops in the floater. Van Vliet's gotten four this quarter. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. And here is Thompson, guarded by Van Vliet. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Shangun. Clay Thompson is tall for a guard, so you want to utilize any advantage you have. That time height came into play. Two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Clay Thompson never seems to get too rattled. A pretty even keel guy, and you can see that even when Clay's off the floor. Free throw is good from Thompson. For Houston, they've gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Thompson passes to Brooks. Shangun with it. Van Vliet outside. Three pointer. Houston gets it back. Smith passes to Thompson. Knocks down the triple. Thompson's got 11 points here in the second half. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Thompson finds Curry. Wiggins for three. They get it back. Kuminga tipped, and he recovers it. And another shot. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Shingun. Line for the Warriors. Jonathan Kaminga at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Yeah. 
And he can't get the first one. Green's checked in for the Rockets. And he sinks the second. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. Brooks outside. Pass to Shangun. Outside. Green. Now Thompson lets it go from deep. Thompson pulls it in. Thompson's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Green. That shot off. Good work defensively by Brooks. Houston in the lead. And he's going for the oop here. alley -oop up top. Hammer it home. If there's anybody who can ignite a crowd with his dunks, it's Jabari. He throws them down with power. Curry against Thompson. Pass to Wiggins. Shot clock at six. On the wing, Thompson. And here's Curry for three. Rebounded by Green. Houston has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. And Clay Thompson picks up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. Second team foul. Outside, Green. Out to Thompson. No one near him. Doesn't go that time. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Thompson passes to Curry. Here's Wiggins. The three from Thompson. Fires in the triple. Thompson's got five points in the quarter. Play not forcing anything, just waiting for his time and collecting points in the flow of the offense. Brooks finds Thompson. Green with the ball. Defended by Thompson. And it's Green missing. The Warriors trailing. Here's Wiggins. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's the aggressive part of Andrew Wiggins coming out of him, forcing the defender that time to get his hand in there. Andrew Wiggins taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one misses. Tied up with that one. And it's the Rockets with the ball. Outside, Green. Pass to Shengu. Launches it. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. And that's a clutch shot by a big time shooter. And where's the D? Here's Curry. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got his 16th rebound on the night. Clay Thompson picks one up. And Smith needs to keep hitting the boards. I mean, at his size, he should be eating glass. Their third personal, third team foul. At the line for Houston, Jabari Smith. At the line for one. And when you talk about guys who are built for the modern game, Add Smith's name to that list. The Warriors shooting at 49% so far in the game. Curry finds Wiggins. 
outside Kaminga. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Curry for three. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. The open shot by Thompson. Kept alive. A nice shot by Smith. And it's an eight-point Houston lead. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Outside Curry. Thompson against Green. Thompson, that's good. Thompson's got 13 in the second half. Houston has gone three of six from downtown so far on the fourth. Timeout, timeout. Timeout call, Houston. Houston. Started. to present the New Balance player of the game, Jalen Green. It is always fun watching a player distribute the ball like this. He's just threading the needle and finding ways to deliver the ball through the defense. He's putting on a passing clinic right now. Oh, so good. Here's Thompson. Into the lane. Excellent D there from Kuminga. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's Steph just enough. Curry. What work from Steph Curry gets open and makes it look easy. Wow. Thompson outside. Back to Green from behind the arc. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got his 16th rebound on the night. Pass to Curry from deep three-point range. Smith with the rebound. Boy, I'd love to see him just get a smidge closer to the basket. Once he sees a few shots go in from there, that might open up everything from distance. To the inside, Green. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. That's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. And the shot's good. Kaminga's got five points now in the quarter. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Thompson finds Green. Hits the three-pointer. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. One twenty-one left in the game. Curry against Thompson. Curry passes to Thompson. Wiggins from long range. Gets the three to fall. Wiggins got 17 points here in the second half. And Wiggins stepping up in a big moment. That's huge for this ball club. Pass to Thompson. Inside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second person. It's on Stephen Curry. Fourth team foul. At the line for Houston. Thompson. At the line for two. He hits the first one, and that puts him up five. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a six-point ball game making the most of his trip to the line and helping them extend their lead. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. That one doesn't drop. Nice D from Thompson. A chance here to possibly put the game away. They have to remain focused to get it done. And they pick up two. Time out, time out. And the Rockets lead by eight. They've been battling all night. 
Now they're on the brink of putting this game away. Oh, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. Golden State calls timeout. They're down by eight. There's 38 seconds left in the final quarter. All right, guys, what do you think? Not much time left. You think they have a chance to come back? There's 38 seconds left to play in the fourth. Curry's shot is off. Well, after an impressive first half, he's just not been able to get the room or get anything going here in the second. Back to green. Pass to Shangun for three. Rebounded by Green. Yakuminga defended by Shangun. The three from Thompson. Not going to go that time. And so the Rockets take the win. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. And that about wraps it up for Ali LaForce, Grant Hill. And well, in a new season, there are some players, Richard, that hit the ground running. And there are others, as you well know, that take a while to get going. Which I, I, sh I know what camp you fell into, but what would you say? Did you take a while to get going, or were you ready to go? No, it, it was both. There was one where it was like I struggled to get going and really get a rhythm, and there's others that I was just ready to go and locked in. As your environment changes, so does your success. And so sometimes, as your environment changes, you got to figure out how to be successful in it. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. On the wings, Thompson and Wiggins. Draymond Green is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Curry in at the one. And that one falls for Brooks. Boy, this hurts to have to bring up, but I was there for the Rockets title winning days back in 94 when I was with the Knicks. I saw Houston in the finals firsthand. Now here's Wiggins. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Oh, they've got their eyes on him calling the foul right away. Back-to-back -back titles for the Rockets in the mid-90s. You were just talking about that. Greg, what sticks out to you about those teams? First and foremost, the dream. Uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, he doesn't get his due at times, but the dream is one of the all-time greats. Olajuwon's defense really changed games. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Outside green. Six on the shot clock. And green swims it in. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to catch up with the head coach of the Rockets. Going into the first game of the season, he said we have to attack them inside and in transition. See how that works out. If they don't adjust, we're going to keep pressing it. Well, Kevin, that seems like a good idea considering his explosive team that he has. Back to you. Thank you, David. The Warriors shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. Rockets have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Van Vliet passes to Brooks. Here's Green. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Green's got his second bucket tonight. Out. Oh. 
out to a hot start. Four makes and five shots to begin this ball game. Out to the wing. Kaminga with a wide open look. Warriors the rebound. Yep, that one goes in there. And the way Thompson keeps his balance is impressive. Able to fend off the defense there. Brooks outside. Pass to Shengu. The drive by Green. The shot, no good. Good D by Thompson. Warriors trailed by four. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. First team foul. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Brooks against Wiggins. Out to Smith. From past the arc, drills the three-pointer. He was money from deep in college. Looks like the confidence has stuck. Warriors have gone two for four from the field so far today. Curry passes to Wiggins. Thompson for three. Fred Van Vliet grabs the miss. Rockets leading by seven. Here's Green. Second shot opportunity. That one doesn't go. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Kaminga, no good. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. A whole nice play from Brooks down in the paint. Not afraid to get physical on the inside. Wiggins against Brooks. Floats it up for Curry. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a scorer. Brooks outside. Back to Van Vliet from outside the arc. The shot that time not on target. Warriors trailed by seven. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Wiggins from outside. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Smith the pass to Van Vliet. Outside Green. Back to Van Vliet. It's up a three. The Warriors pull it in. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. And after that game, it was impressive to look at the box score and see the work they did at the free throw line. And that's not by accident. I like how they didn't settle. They were attacking, putting pressure on the D. And here is Van Vliet after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Pass to Brooks. No good off the back of the rim. Warriors trailed by four to the inside. And Kaminga gets it to go on the assist by Green. Kaminga's got five now. As team first as anyone in this league, Green is always looking to dish. The drive by Green. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. Shoots from 12. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Kaminga's got four rebounds now tonight. His consistency just hasn't been there this quarter in terms of his shooting. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. To end the cold streak. Here's Smith. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. You'd love to see Smith become a monster on the glass. He's got size and agility, so he could be a real threat down low. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Free throw drops for Smith. A darn good free throw shooter. Smith doesn't seem to have a weak spot coming into the lead. Wiggins outside. Curry kicks to Wiggins. 
trying to find Green. He's got it now. Outside Curry. Another three for Golden State. He has the fastest shot in the game of basketball. Curry's release is so quick that the D can't afford to lay off him at all. Now here's Green. 17 points in his last outing. At the elbow, Smith. To the middle. And that one's good. Green. Green's got six points. Oh, how about the vision from Smith? You have to know not just where, but when to deliver the ball. And guys, how about the job Jalen Green has done? Living up to that second overall pick. He sure is. Had a great rookie year last year, and he is looking to build on that success. Had a tremendous year in all facets of the game. And here is Green after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Green against Thompson, and they call an illegal screen here. Okay. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor, not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Thompson, he's checked in for Houston. And the Warriors also making a change. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Wiggins. Now here's Paul. Coming in off a 10-point game, his last outing. And the Warriors miss again. Smith outside. Green dishes to Thompson. Six to shoot. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. And let's take a look at Steph Curry's numbers. The past month has been surreal. And tremendous confidence and consistency at the foul line. He ranks among the top 15 in free throw percentage. And you noted it. His points per game average is unreal right now. He's literally propping up the team's offense, scoring whenever they need him to. And Green gets it to go. You can tell Green likes to move quickly. He gets that ball, and he's taking the shot in just a few seconds. Back to Paul. Uncovered. Count that one. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Green. Eight points for him. Brooks misses. Green the pass to Kaminga. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Just, like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Houston. Trailing by two. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. Yeah, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. Yeah, you know each team wants to take it to the other. I'm sure we will see a lot of toying around with lineups and see what types of matchups work best. Now here's Kaminga. Following the miss by Jabari Smith. Thompson against Paul. Thompson outside. Pass to Kaminga. Five on the clock. And that one is good. And it's a four-point Warrior lead. Wow, even against contact, defense does all they can to stop Paul inside, and he still slips by them. Smith kicks to Brooks. Houston moving it around. There's Green with the three, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Brooks. Brooks has got his fourth assist in this one. Outside Curry. Got a piece of it. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Outside Green. And the pass to Shengu. Down low. Shots good by Green. 
13 points for Jalen Green. This quarter has been all his. I suggest they keep the ball in his hands. Passes it to Thompson from the arc. Shengun with the rebound. Houston's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Brooks misses. The Warriors trail. Paul right side for three. And he's good on the three ball. Paul's got seven. By no means a volume three-point shooter. Paul picks his spots and is very accurate. Three-pointer, Brooks. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Kaminga's got six rebounds now in the game. Shot from 12. Here's Green. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Brooks, the pass to Thompson. Here's Green. There's the triple. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high-quality shooting. Pass to Kaminga. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. You love how physical Green is willing to get. Enduring the foul and finding the bottom of the bucket. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. The Rockets making a switch here. Landale's checked in. both on and off the floor. Green plays with a real fire in edge. And Thompson kicks to Brooks. Pass to Green. Thompson outside. Back to Green. Just five to shoot. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. 18 points for him. Coach has to be pleased with what Green is doing out there, playing with a ton of energy on the offensive end. From 12 feet out, Paul's shot is off. Thompson outside. The pass to Brooks. A three-pointer off the mark. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Warriors. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we'll be back with you shortly. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game, uh, stats-wise? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. And as long as the threes are dropping, you've got to keep launching them. And it's Paul with the ball for the Golden State Warriors. And following this one, they'll take on the Hornets in New Orleans. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. On the wings, Thompson and Wiggins. Kaminga out there with Green, and it's Paul in at the one. On you talk to the great ball handlers, and they say, Greg, that footwork is an underappreciated aspect of it. Why is that? It's like a dance. You're eluding the defender mostly with your feet. The, the ball handling part is just making sure the ball comes along for the ride. And he knocks down the first one. And so he makes both from the line. The Warriors shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. Ball passes to Green. Wiggins with it. Inside. 
Rejected by Van Vliet. And perfect positioning from Van Vliet. Wanting to block shots whenever he can. Great instinct. The Warriors have gone three for three at the line tonight. Golden State. Chris Paul at the line for two. And he makes the first. The thing I love about Chris Paul is that he is so focused on making his teammates better. Every team would love to have a floor general like that. Both free throws good from Paul. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Outside, Green. It's tipped. Here's Wiggins, and Wiggins throws it down. And with that height and, and incredible leaping ability, Wiggins can throw it down as easy as anyone. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone, and it's Green missing. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. And the shot goes in. You're not going to speed him up. Even when you get aggressive guarding Thompson, he stays in control. He's just so tough to cover. And after connecting twice from deep in the first quarter, he hasn't been able to drain another here in the second. Green dishes to Paul. Misses from short range. Just enough resistance to force the miss. Barely. That's one he'll generally make. Green kicks to Smith. Van Vliet trying to break free. Smith, no luck. Warriors leading by six. Paul finds Thompson. Back to Paul. Higgins outside. Shot clock at six. Smith against Green. Nice shot by Smith. Smith's got eight. And just trying to contest that shot, the defender actually catches part of Smith, but he gets rid of the ball so quickly. Now here's Paul. Nine points in the game so far. And Thompson kicks to Wiggins. And the Warriors miss again. Rockets trailed by four. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Let's the three fly. It's good from long range. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Back to Van Vliet. Baseline jumper. Unable to get that one. The Warriors go the other way with it. And here's Wiggins. No good with the layup. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. On the way, Wiggins shoots. Again, Wiggins missing. Well, he better buy his teammates dinner tonight because they've covered him for what has been a terrible, absolute terrible shooting this ball. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. So it's the Warriors now. The Rockets making the shot. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. You look at Jalen Green. He's really been playing well. And whatever the D has thrown at him, he's had an answer. His offense is coming naturally to him because he keeps things simple. You hear that, people? Keeps things simple. 
Ken Goons checked in for Houston. And now let's bring you the list of the top three-point shooting teams over the course of the past 10 games. The Warriors, fourth. The three has become a major weapon for them over this stretch. Great movement on the perimeter. They're not taking any bad shots. On defense, the Rockets. Down low. Green breaking loose. Misses the layup. Rockets have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Smith, no luck. And so Green will bring it up for Golden State. They trail by one. Paul passes to Wiggins. Back to Paul. Just five on the clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Houston's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Here's Green. It's not going to go for him. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. To the wing right side. Passes it to Shengu. Now Van Vliet fires for three, sinks the three-pointer. Van Vliet's got five now. And count on Van Vliet to hit that three-point shot. He's an efficient scorer from beyond the arc. Golden State's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Shin Goon is a guy that works ultra hard at his craft. Being a bit undersized at the center position, you know what? That's what you got to do sometimes. Now here's Wiggins. He picked up 15 points in the last one against New York. Paul's shot is off. Houston in the lead. Covered by Wiggins. Can't hit that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Hey, Richard, how about Shingu? This guy stands out when he's out on the court. Yeah, he sure does, all due to his work ethic. Plays quick inside and makes the most of his floor time. A couple more years, and this dude could be a standout. Wiggins kicks to Paul. Shot from 12. Chengun with the rebound. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. They grab their own miss. That's a miss, his second after two shots. Houston leading by four. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. And again, no good by Golden State. Houston's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Green, it's good, the assist that time from Smith. Smith's got four assists now tonight. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Pass to Wiggins, and they get it. Nail from three-point land. Shot's good. Personal no ball. stopping Wiggins there. Shot's you good. have to respect his aggressiveness and fighting mentality. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And he's shooting his free throws to the tune of 75% this season. Fairly standard numbers. Brooks checked in for Houston. Thompson comes in for Green. Kuminga's come in for the Warriors. Free throw good, Wiggins. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Back to Thompson. Brooks outside. All against Thompson. Over Paul. And the call will be against Jabari Smith. That's his first foul. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. The Warriors trail. Paul looking over the floor. 
Kaminga pitch to Wiggins. Paul against Thompson. Lock at six. Shoots from the high post, and he nails the jumper. Paul's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. What confidence from the accomplished veteran. Paul doesn't need much space to shoot from the mid-range. Here's Brooks. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. On the wing, Wiggins. Wide open look. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Paul against Thompson. Smith on the wing. He's coming off a 25-point game against Indiana. There are nights where the shots just don't fall. Unfortunately, I know how that feels. Covered by Van Vliet. Kicks it out to Wiggins. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Shingoon's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Back to Thompson. Van Vliet outside. And it's Brooks in the corner over Wiggins. Brooks can't get that one to fall. And it's the Warriors' ball. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Two minutes remaining. In the post. Green in the post. Two Brooks minutes. covering. And it's Green missing. And so Brooks will bring it up for Houston. Trailing by two. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Brooks personal foul. Rockets have looked good at the line. Tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. The line for Houston. Thompson. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. The Warriors lead it. Pass to Wiggins. Tries it from the top of the key. And that one, good. Wiggins has got 10. And how about the confidence of Wiggins? His teammates want him to take those shots. Van Vliet passes to Smith. Brooks with it. Looking to get back on track here. And that one hits back iron. He hasn't even made one point at this quarter. And his team desperately needs him to get going. Paul dishes to Kaminga. Back to Paul. Over Thompson. And Thompson sends it back. 58 seconds left to play here in the half. Van Vliet looking around. Five to shoot. Brooks from outside. And the three ball is good. He's got eight. Ball spacing the floor. Brooks is comfortable shooting it from deep. Al Paul. 13 points in the game. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Shengun with the rebound. shengun has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Dishes it to Smith. Lobbed up there for Thompson. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. There's Kaminga. A stupendous finish in traffic. Six seconds left to play in the first half. A deep three from Van Vliet. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. The Warriors on top as they wrap up the second quarter on a 12-4 run.
Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball uh, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. And trying as they might, they couldn't push their lead past four points. Scoring-wise, they broke even in the second, so little ground was lost there. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what you think? We have to recognize their bench play. Sometimes we overlook the second. But tonight, they've been the key. The coaching staff has got to be loving this. Getting that extra boost is huge. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. You know, they didn't play it too safe. They made some really nice shots. Those are some much needed points, and it keeps them right in the game. As long as they stay on the same page and keep working together, they got a great chance to take control of this game. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. If you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Well, guys, what can you say? Jalen Green, an impressive effort here today. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. The post pairing for him, Smith along with Shengun. Green is out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Brooks in at the three, the small forward. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Stephen. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Just another day at the office for Mr. Curry. Outside, Green. Here's the pass to Brooks. And some nice passing there by Houston. Smith kicks to Van Vliet. Shoots over Curry. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Warriors leading by five. Here's Kaminga. The shot misses. Good work defensively by Smith. Brooks, the pass to Smith. And here is Brooks. Over Wiggins. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Green's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Outside Curry. Thompson passes to Green. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The game of Green, it's about testing the defense, finding their weak spots. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. Three, two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for. Free throws good from Green. Rockets trailed by seven. Outside Green. Wiggins against Brooks. Smith outside. Five on the clock. The offensive rebound. Shengun. And it goes down two points. 
And it took some time, but hopefully getting that make not a kickstart and kind of wake them up here in this third quarter after missing their first few shots. Outside Curry. Passes to Green. There's the dish to Thompson. Releases. Shengun with the rebound. Rockets have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room with the break. And here we go. Fast break. Wiggins has got it. And Kaminga throws it down. It's an improving skill for Wiggins, moving the ball, but he's focused on improving that aspect of his skill set. Green passes to Smith. To the middle. Here's Van Vliet. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got his fifth assist in this one. Here's Curry. Eight points for him. Pass to Thompson. Fires from deep. And another three for Golden State. I just love how fast Thompson gets his shot off. It makes him so much more lethal. Van Vliet outside. Shangoon kicks to Brooks. Pass to Smith. Over Kaminga. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. Smith's got 10. Warriors leading by six. Back to Curry. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. On the wing, Green. Shangun covering. Sinks the triple. Curry's got the lead up to nine now for the Warriors. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? The pass to Brooks. Shoots over Kaminga. And it's Brooks. That time on the assist by Green. As he gets more comfortable in unlocking his potential, we'll see Green get more comfortable in moving the ball. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. Warriors with the rebound. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not a big thing. And his lackluster accuracy is probably the thing that's keeping them behind. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Rockets. Nine-point game. And the toughness of Brooks on display, not fearing contact when he's looking to score inside. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Dylan Brooks taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. Really depends on what a team needs from night to night. And both free throws good for Brooks. Warriors leading by seven. Thompson outside. For the three, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Thompson's got six here in this quarter. Van Vliet passes to Green. And play stops, Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. You gotta blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Riggins outside, stolen by Brooks. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And you like to see this from Brooks, right? No need to fall in love with the jump shot. Give the defense different looks. Back to Curry. He dishes it to Kaminga. Some nice passing by Golden State. Wiggins inside the line. Green with the rebound. Green's got four rebounds now tonight. He 
takes it in. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. The shifty nature of Green just makes things so tough on the defense. And he's got his first free throw of the game. For your Rockets, Chamberlain Green. Two shots. That's good from Green. Very good from here. Green over 80% from the line. Both free throws good from Green. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Kareef binds Wiggins. Outside, Green. The Rockets pull it in. Shingun's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And it's Smith missing. Warriors leading by six. Outside, Green. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. I like when Green looks to score. He's good at putting defenses in a bind. He is three for three from the free throw line. And that 82% free throw percentage this season must have him feeling pretty good about himself at the line. Shooting two. And the first one drops. <laughs> Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Rockets trailed by seven. The feed out to Green. And it's Green with the jam. Let me tell you this. If you've got a vertical leap of 40 inches like Green, you're just going to be able to glide to the rim like that. Thompson outside. Passes it to Wiggins. Connects from three-point range. Wiggins has got 13. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Outside, Green. Pass to Brooks. And there's the drive. And the powerful one-handed slam. And the quickness of Brooks' drive can be overwhelming. First inside before the D can react. And Thompson kicks to Curry. From deep. The Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Curry against Van Vliet. Shoots over Curry. They get it back. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Trayvon Green. Second personal foul. Third team foul. It's his first trip to the line. At the line for your Rockets. Alfred Chingu. At the line for two. He's off on the first, so it's both teams making substitutions here. Good on the second free throw. Warriors leading by five. 
Timeout, timeout called timeout. the Warriors. Golden State. Looney to the right side. Call outside. Outside Curry. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Shengun passes to Thompson. Brooks from outside. Another shot. Shengun with the bucket. Shengun's got five points in the quarter. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Morgan Thompson, top of the key. Tries again, and that's two points on the layup. And the Warriors lead by five. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Outside, Green. Brooks, outside. Great play by Green to set it up. Brooks has got 19 points. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. Over to the wing. Tires from the corner. Good on the shot. And this is what Paul is known for. He is a shrewd distributor with a pass-first mentality. Brooks outside. And Green now, top of the key. Lobbed up there for Thompson. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Outside Curry. Pass to Thompson. A three ball. That's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. And you can just see his confidence is rising. Bucket after bucket from long range. Outside Green. Just five to shoot. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Tate, he's checked in for Dylan Brooks. Over the floor for your Rockets. Jayshon Tate. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. They've led by as much as 10. Here's Paul. And good. You got the English that time as it falls. Now it's a seven-point Warrior lead. And Thompson kicks to Green. Thompson passes to Tate. Here's Green, guarded by Kirk. The drive by Green, and he lays it straight in. Green's got six here in this quarter. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. And Goon covering. Back to Paul. There's the three. And another three for Golden State. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. And Green gets it to go. Okay, that, that, that's an impressive range from Green. Daring the defense to cover him that far out? Well, look, he can have that. Shangun covering. Rockets with the rebound. Now, here's Tate. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And Jay Sean Tate, talk about positional flexibility. I don't know if you'd call him an oversized guard or an undersized forward. He even played some center at Ohio State. NBA scouts weren't sure what his position was. He kind of flew underneath the radar, went undrafted, but everybody knows his name now.
And he can't get the first one. The Rockets making a switch here. Landale's checked in. And he's good on the second. Warriors leading by four. Fires at the elbow. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Houston's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. The pass to Green. Right wing. Here's Tate. A three-pointer, no good. The Warriors shooting almost 60% from the field here in the third. They are really feeling it. Here's Looney. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The Warriors have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Kevon Looney at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And so Looney nails both of them. Pockets trailed by eight. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, you don't have to be quick. You just have to be deliberate. Curry against Green. Pass to Thompson. Three-pointer. And there's Green on the assist by Thompson. Thompson's got three assists tonight. For Jalen Green to be an all-star level guy, he's got to knock down those threes. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Warriors lead by five. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Sliding over to the wing spot, it's Curry and Thompson. Raymond Green is out there with Jonathan Kaminga, and it's Paul in at the point. Here's Green. The shot, no good. Excellent defense there from Smith. Tate against Thompson. Tate the pass to Landale. It counts, and the foul. They get Stephen Curry. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. And the Rockets making a change here. Brooks checked in. And Golden State also making a change. Higgins is checked in. The Warriors leading. Thompson passes to Green. Kicks to Paul from downtown. Offensive rebound. Second chance effort and the rejection by Smith. A relentless defender. Smith proving how disruptive he can be on that end. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Here's Thompson driving to the basket. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. 
Paul with the ball. Count it. Paul's got nine points here in the second half. Even in the later stages of his career, Paul's handles remain incredible. He's got that thing on the string. What a move. Here's Brooks. The Rockets with another miss. Warriors leading by four. And Thompson kicks to Paul. Over Thompson. And Thompson sends it back. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. The blinding speed of Green really turns on the Jets in transition. It's impressive to watch. Thompson outside. Back to Paul. The 11 footer. Nice Chris spin Paul. off the left rim and in. The assist. And now 24 points for Chris Paul. Oh, and look at how well he led him in there. Really, he passed him open for that dish. Pass to Brooks. Back to Green. Takes a three. Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. Wiggins has got rebound number five here tonight. And no good. And Houston the other way now. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. And that'll be the third of the four straight at home. Thompson against Paul. Deep two from Brooks. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Wasted no time on that one. Such a slept-on attribute of his. Draymond can handle the rock. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. The heads-up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Checked in for Houston. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey guys, well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? Thank you, David. And Green gets it to go. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. And Thompson kicks to Brooks. Over Wiggins. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Kaminga's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Kicks it out to Paul. Pass to Kaminga. Launches it. Thompson with the rebound. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Green up on top, covered by Wiggins. And it's Green, missing. Warriors leading by six. On the wing, Thompson. He's covered by Thompson. It's Thompson off the drive. Good D by Thompson. The Rockets shooting in this game, 45%. Here's Smith. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And smooth in everything he does. Nice dribble move there by Smith. Thompson outside. And there's the pass to Wiggins. Buries the long-range jumper. And the Warriors lead by seven. He knocked one deep ball in the first half, but you start to get the feeling he's finding his rhythm out there now. And Thompson kicks to Smith. Gets a very good look and converts. Supreme confidence. Smith really stretches the floor with his ability to shoot. Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. For the three. And that one is off. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Here's Paul. And the rejection by Smith. Brooks with no one around. Knocks down the three ball. Brooks has got 22 points. Yeah, now one of four here in the fourth quarter. Higgins outside. 
Back to Paul. Thompson looking for an opening. Drains it from beyond the arc. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taken advantage of a really tired defense. Thompson inside, defended by Paul. Thompson against Green. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Good as Green picking up the assist. Green's got six assists here tonight. Paul kicks to Wiggins. Thompson against Green. And here's Thompson. Back to Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. Over Brooks. And it's Wiggins missing. Rockets trail by three. Brooks with the bucket. Brooks has got five points in the quarter. Oh, the balance Brooks has is impressive. Able to work through the defense and still capitalize. Here's Paul. Second chance shot. And Kamingo with the way in. And the Warriors lead by three. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Now a timeout called by Houston. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Clay Thompson. And he's earned it with his three-point shooting more than anything else. I mean, his stroke from beyond has been smooth as silk, and 18 of his points have come from long range. A nice contribution. Fred Van Vliet has checked in for Thompson. Outside green. Brooks up on top. And the layup's good off the glass. Brooks has got 18 points just in the second half. And definitely a streak shooter. When Brooks is hot, he can carry the offense. Feeds it to Kaminga. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Jabari Smith picks one up. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. Jonathan Kaminga, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. is no good. And really, if not for the miss, they'd be sitting in a much better position. And the wide open shot from Green. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got six assists in the game. Where he finds Wiggins. Thompson against Green. Floats it up for Wiggins. And Wiggins throws it down. Verticality gives Wiggins the upper hand. Almost unstoppable once he's midair. Van Vliet against Curry. A step back shot here. Van Vliet can't get it to go. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Curry deciding where to go with it. He kicks to Wiggins. Passes to Kaminga. Shot clock at six. And Wiggins with the basket on the assist by Kaminga. Kaminga's got three assists in the game. Van Vliet outside. Houston moving it around. Brooks outside.
Great tee that time from Green. Warriors leading by three. Kicks it to Kerr. Fires from the wing. It's rebounded by Houston. Smith's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Pass to Van Vliet. Now Green lets the three fly. Oh, they get it back. The shot's good from Smith. And this is a statement bucket. If you weren't excited about Smith already, how about now? Curry against Van Vliet. Curry dishes to Thompson. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Pass to Green. He kicks it to Wiggins. From past the arc. Offensive rebound. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. He is totally in the zone, showing his incredible focus when it comes to attacking the glass. Brooks. Oh, and they take the lead. Brooks has got 28 points for the game. Well, Brooks is always working hard for this team. And here it pays off with a huge basket. And a deep three from Curry. Misses the three. Houston's gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Here's Van Vliet, and it's Houston with another. And how about the leadership there from Van Vliet, ready to put this team on his back and give them that crucial bucket. That one's in there. The pocket lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Stephen Curry. When it is crunch time and you've got Stephen Wardell Curry, the game plan is simple. Get him the ball. And that is big time. That's why most people expected Smith to be the number one pick in the draft. Here's Curry. Got it. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Now Green. Kaminga the pass to Green. It's stolen by Green. The pass to Smith. Brooks with it. There's the triple. It's good from the end of the arc. And this is why Brooks is out there. Uh, amazing watching him come up in the clutch for his squad. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're trailing by four. 32 seconds left in the game. Two seconds left to play here in the fourth. Stolen by Van Vliet, and he commits the intentional foul. Fourth personal foul. Second team foul. A bucket here would give them a bit more room. True, but but no need to rush it. Play smart. Third personal foul. Third team foul. That's the line for your. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a six-point ball game. And he adds to their lead with some very solid free throws. Timeout called the Warriors. They trail by six. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And finds Wiggins. The three pointers off the mark. And now they decide to foul intentionally. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. At the line for your Rockets. 
Fred Van Fleet taking two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight point game. I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yeah, they fought as hard as they could. Just wasn't in the cards tonight. So we see the Rockets get the win here. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. And I think they built off that edge. Of and both teams tonight unafraid to run offense through their bigs, Grant. Talk about the value of being able to do that. Yeah, B.A., you know, it just speaks to how both teams can beat you in multiple ways of playing. I think it can lead to higher percentage looks with the bigs running the offense. You can strike a nice balance between inside and out, which coaches are preaching right now. All right, check it out. Golden State's opening lineup. Thompson the two with Wiggins at the three. Jonathan Kaminga is out there with Green. And it's Curry in at the point. Wiggins finds Kaminga. Six on the shot clock. Wiggins passes to Kaminga. From outside, off the mark. On the wing, Green, defended by Thompson. And that one's good. Green. Green doing work inside. Feels like he can score on just about anybody. Wiggins outside. First quarter, just over a minute play. Curry passes to Wiggins. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to be on Dylan Brooks. Real, really good job of working the interior. You got to work it. You got to work it a bit. Wiggins attacking is able to draw the foul. Two shots. First one falls. Well, Clark, last year's Rockets team, very young, but man, they love to run. They sure do be a second in the league in pace, aggressive offensively. Houston led the league in free throw attempts, but you know what? Even those numbers could not overcome being tops in points allowed. Gave up over 118 per game. That won't get it done. A decent free throw shooter is Wiggins, trying to become more than that, though, given how often he gets himself to the line. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Now here's Curry. We saw him with 19 his last time out. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Three-pointer Van Vliet. Clay Thompson pulls down the board. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Curry passes to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Boy, Andrew Wiggins, the former first overall pick, showing off his passing skills there. Brooks outside. Van Vliet against Curry. Van Vliet, the pass to Green. Houston gets it back. Shangun with it, working on Green. The kick out to Van Vliet from deep. Nails it from three. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. Wiggins outside. Pass to Thompson. There's the three. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. 
<laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Green. He's got five. Brooks outside. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Let's see some of the numbers here for Stephen Curry. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Thompson, no good. The Rockets have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Here's Shangun. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Houston, Alfred Shingun. At the line for two. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Good on the second one. And with every new NBA season, Grant, it's always fun to see which players have a breakout year. NBA, it seems like guys always have breakout years. Usually we see it with the younger players, but sometimes it's with guys who've been in the league and are now in new situations. Last year, we saw breakout seasons for Darius Garland, Jordan Poole, and Tyrese Maxey, just to name a few. Here's Curry after the Rockets picked up a basket a moment ago. Wiggins finds Kaminga. And here's Thompson for three. That one won't fall. He's one for three on the day. Houston has gone two of five from deep. Green for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Green's got eight points. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Here's the three. And there's Thompson on the assist by Wiggins. Three points. Wiggins has got three assists tonight. I really believe we can go ahead now and lock Clay Thompson in on the short list of the greatest pull-up shooters in the NBA. And we might be talking the all-time list here. Now here's Green. Give him eight points now. Pass to Van Vliet. Curry with the block. Here's Thompson. Over Green. They grab their own miss. Good D by Shangun. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. And it's Green missing. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Thompson outside. Wiggins outside. Back to Thompson. Let's the three fly. Drills it from deep. Nine points in the game. With perfect mechanics, too. Klay Thompson's jumper is a work of art, an all time shooter. Van Vliet, the pass to Green. And here's Smith. Three pointer, Brooks. He buries it from three. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Curry. The stats he's putting up, impressive. Averaging around 30 and a half points a game. Green against Chengun. And it's Green missing. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. Smith no good. Golden State has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Kuminga, the pass to Curry. Now here's Thompson. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Thompson. 
Fires from deep. Another three for Golden State. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. Now here's Smith. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And this is something Smith needs to keep doing at the next level. Staying aggressive in close. And just continuing to impress at every level. Smith Jr. was a five-star recruit, led Auburn to a great season as a freshman, and he's just starting to tap into his potential now. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Golden State has gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Smith Jr. with incredible upside grit. And he's got the work ethic to make it all happen. Yeah, he really does, B.A. He's a humble guy. He puts in extra time at practice. And it really shows in his skill set. Just very advanced for his age. Now here's Wiggins. 15 in his last outing. Curry against Brooks. And there's Van Vliet on the assist by Brooks. Van Vliet's got seven. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. Green against Shangun. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. What offensive effort from Green. Backing off the shot isn't even a consideration for him. For the Warriors, Draymond Green at the line for two. Free throw misses. Both teams will make substitutions. And he's good on the second. Yeah, in terms of winners in NBA history, few have the resume of Draymond Green. Down low. Ball stolen. Kaminga with it. Guarded by Smith. Pass to Curry. Over Green. And the basket by Curry. Curry's got his second basket. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. Outside, Green. Shengun with it. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. shengun has got a second bucket on the night. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Thompson outside. Right side, Green. Inside. And there's the call on Jalen Green. That's his first foul of the game. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. Close games often come down to who makes the big plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. The three from Curry knocks down the long J. Curry's got seven points in the game. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Now here's Van Vliet. He played a great game against Indiana. Shot clock at five. Green. The shot won't fall. Thompson with some nice D. Outside Kaminga. Pass to Curry. Now 
Now Paul. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Two minutes remaining. Paul against Smith. Green with the ball. Got a piece of it. Shangun passes to Green. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Van Vliet misses. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Thompson against Van Vliet. This one for three. Thompson, no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Count it. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Paul passes to Curry. Back to Paul. Pass to Kaminga. Outside Paul. Over Van Vliet. That's good from Paul. On the assist by Kuminga. Chris Paul oozes with confidence, especially when he's got the mid-range game working for himself. He'll take every opportunity to stroke it from there. Now here's Van Vliet. He has seven. Outside for Green. It's stolen by Curry. And he lays it in on the break. Curry's got nine. Only in quarter number one. He's put in four out of five. Great start. Ball against Van Vliet. Smith outside. Outside. Green. And the shot goes. He's got ten. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. The drive by Paul. Another shot. The Rockets pull it in. Shangun's got six rebounds now in the game. And that one is stuffed right through. A bit undersized. His hops make him a legit small ball four. And so it's Jalen Green making highlights for Houston. He put together 10 points in the quarter. Or NBA on 2K Sports right after this. Good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. All right, what do you think about the Rockets? Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. Yeah, I like the way they play. They're looking to get up and down the court every time. Racehorse basketball here tonight. Strap it up. Don't look down. You'll miss something. The Warriors trailing. Smith plays the four with Shingun at center. Then it's Jalen Green. Then it's Dylan Brooks, and it's Thompson in at point. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. That's exactly how you win a rebound battle. Get good position, and then use your strength to hold on to that position. Curry's shot is off. Smith against Green. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. And when you talk about guys who are built for the modern game, add Smith's name to that list. You know, one expression you hear from a lot of coaches nowadays, threatening drives. What's the value of breaking the paint? B.A., dribble penetration is so important, particularly in today's game. With the spacing and the great shooting on the perimeter, if you can get to the paint, one, you may score at the rim, but if the defense collapse, now you have an opportunity to find an open shooter from three. Both shots good from the strike. Golden State has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Thompson outside. Outside Curry. Now here's Paul. On the wing, Curry. Green covering. And they call an illegal screen here. That's his second foul of the first half. Not a big deal yet. But 
something to keep an eye on. Houston in the lead. Up top, Thompson. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Thompson against Paul. Thompson outside. Glaze it up and in on the nice reverse. Thompson's got 14 points. You expect this from an elite scorer like Thompson. Let's just hope he can maintain this rhythm. Pass to Brooks. Shoots over Thompson. And it's Brooks missing. The Warriors have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. The three from Curry. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. Anytime Curry gets a look from deep, he's letting it fly. And he's probably knocking it down, too. And the Warriors pushing it up now. Here's Paul. Curry finds Thompson. Back to Curry. The three is up. And the Warriors with another three. All right, let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Warriors. I must say their defensive intensity has been impressive so far. Really making it hard for the offense to hold on to the ball. Another big component of their game early on has been their execution on the fast break. They're getting a bunch of easy baskets pushing it in transition. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. Landale's checked in for Shangun. Wiggins, he's checked in for the Warriors. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Green, the pass to Thompson. Over Paul. The Rockets again can't hit. Golden State has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Now here's Thompson. But no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Will it go? And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Chris Paul. The line for Houston, Thompson, taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Free throws good from Thompson. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Wiggins outside. Back to Paul. Takes the three. Hits the three-pointer. Paul's got five. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Brooks outside. Shoots over Wiggins. The Rockets again can't hit. No matter what he's tried, it hasn't worked. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. Thompson against Green. Thompson passes to Green. And it's hammered home by Green. We highlight Thompson's scoring often. But right there, just a great read to get it to the open teammate. Pass to Green. Here's Landale. Five on the clock. And he's going for the lob! And it's hammered home by Green. Green is a made bucket getter, and his number has been called all night, and he has delivered. Now Wiggins. Back to Paul. Thompson outside. Three-pointer off the mark. After scoring with ease in the first quarter, he's really cooled down a bunch here. 
Thompson against Paul. Thompson attacking. Smith outside. Beyond the arc. Count it. His third and five attempts. Yeah, looking so comfortable out there on the perimeter. Smith has really invested in getting this shot dialed in. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. Pulls it from the top of the key. The shot comes out. And Houston the other way now. When it comes to Jalen Green now, it's obvious he can score. That's a given. But he's also a remarkable athlete. And his vertical really jumps out at you, if you will. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this boy. Man. Defended by Thompson. Count it. And the Warriors lead by three. Man, some of the dunks we see from Green. The throwdowns are just insane. No doubt about it, B.A. I mean, this young fella has a bright future ahead of him. He's got confidence. He obviously is a tremendous athlete. He looks like he's got the work ethic that's going to allow him to realize his potential. And the Rockets with possession here. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Brooks from outside. He's got it. That makes him two for eight. Hopefully he can get it going now. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Thompson. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Knocked loose. Thompson against Green. Pass to Smith. Thompson outside. Brooks outside. Shoots over Wiggins, and it's Houston scoring again. Well, this man knows how to handle that rock. Looks like it's part of his body. Thompson outside. And here's Wiggins. Back to Thompson. And that basket makes him 6 for 11, shooting a good percentage. And not just a jump shooter, Thompson is also more than capable of converting inside. Pass to Landale. Green against Thompson. Green, the pass to Thompson. 